Hey guys, welcome back to my Star Wars Master Video of Hobbit 2 with Syphilis, TSLRC and 1.8.2 walkthrough. This is part 12. I just got a message on Facebook. Um, I'm not going to look at it now because I'm doing this. Alright, so I am a bit breathless. Um, I'm also a bit stressed because, like my last video, except for different reasons this time, I just did this video, got right to the end, it got completely ruined because of everyone was shouting me. My commentary got ruined and in my eyes so did the video. So I'm redoing it. Not that I have a problem with redoing it, it's just a bit of an annoyance. Right, so I'm gonna try something for the first time. I'm gonna run straight past these. Oh my gosh, I'm almost dead. Uh, uh enhanced attack. Nope. There we go. That makes everything a lot easier. We basically deactivated the Telos Iron Turrets. However, like him. In my, in, not in the last video, but in the, the in the video of my part 12 that I did before this, I haven't even set a timer. Oh my god. Everything's completely wrong. Any normal person would just start the video again. But me, I'm carrying on unprofessionally, but... Right. Hopefully... Uh, Day, the Bay of Door. As I was saying, I don't think you, I don't think anyone kind of understood what I was just saying. <laughs> but um, right. In the part twelve, I did that. I recorded the one that got messed up. Basically, every one of my party members was getting poisoned every single second. Every room we went in, they got poisoned. It was so frustrating. And it's basically happening again. That's basically a smoother version of what I was trying to tell you guys just then. So we just got some administration thing, we got credits and components. I think that's it, we can't go down there because there's nothing down there. It's just a door with nothing behind it. But watch out for the poison. Uh, that's the dead guy. Oh, more droids. Right, I'm gonna play shield on because he takes. He takes. He doesn't have a lot of health, basically. I don't even know why I'm playing as him. I'm supposed to be playing as the exile. That is my character. Right. Let's just master flurry these things. Leave Bayo Door alone! So for those of you, I'm guessing you might have, but for those of you who didn't watch my last video, um, Bayo Dur is basically our new party member. He hasn't replaced Aten or anything, um, this game basically only allows you to have two party members out at once. So you have to switch between them, depending on what you're doing and stuff. You have the option on who you choose and stuff, as long as you even lock them. Uh, but yeah, he's basically helping us find our ship that he believes is in the polar region of Telos. And in order to get to the polar region of Telos, we need to basically steal the shuttle directly in front of us. Which we will do. Because that's our only way to the polar region. And our only way of finding our ship. I'm sure these Zerka people won't mind if we steal their shuttle. After all the trouble they've originally caused us, let's just repay the favor by pissing them off. Right, so, so many turrets! Urgh. Wow, Freya, well done. Run across the poisonous thing. It's the same poisonous thing you've run across so many times up until now. Urgh. Party members have no common sense where they're walking, you'd think they walk around it. But no! Not in this game, they just walk straight through it like YOLO! I say YOLO a lot, I'm sorry. 
Oh, right. That's a lot station. That's a workbench. So let's, let's, take, let's take a quick look at the workbench. Uh, let's give Bayo Dirt some upgrades. So that's 10% immunity to fire. Uh, I think, yeah, we're. There's not much fire free things we have to worry about in this game. Not anymore, now that we've done Paragas. Um, immunity to fire, blah, blah, blah. Regeneration 2. Yeah, that, that's good. Um, what do we do? We don't have any energy cells. Uh, that's already got something. Regeneration 1. Um, I think I'm going ill. I hope not because I hate being ill. But, yeah, I, I never know. Give upgrade Kraya's weapon. That's basically it. We should hopefully see a difference in our capabilities and strengths. Right, so we're basically at the halfway point now. Um, that's what I call this part, halfway point. Because we're at the shuttle. And all we have to do is open the hangar door. What are you shooting at? Seriously, stop. Because we can't exactly smash through the hangar doors and fly out undamaged because we'd probably kill ourselves by doing that. Basically, the of the door just reiterated what I just said. I like how badass my character looks with like an axe and a sword and stuff. Kraya is just chilling with her sword and he's got a big Republic Mando looking gun. Even though this is the old Republic era, not the Clone War era. But it still reminds me of Republic Commando, and that's impossible. I don't even know why I attempted it. Who knows? Anything could happen. I'm seeing an Ellie Golding. What am I doing? Okay. Right, so, we're not going to open that door yet. Basically, it's basically the hangar bay. The hangar door controls. And we can't open them yet because we require the codes to open it, I think. It's basically a data that we need. Okay, so... I don't know if I got better or worse items, or actually, I don't know if I got the same items than when I did that last. We just turn up the poisonous vent so we can stop doing by being poisoned. And I, I'm getting minor back pain, I don't know why, I'm a bit worried about that. Um, in real life, obviously. Um, more droids! Or droid. Okay, so he wasn't difficult. Um, salvage pack. Chemical. He's dead. Doesn't have anything. No other door is locked. Okay, um. We're going the right way, right? Yeah, all of these doors will be pretty much open. If he wasn't. Droid here. We one shot kill there. I say one shot kill, but. It was actually three attacks, but we won feet killed it, I guess you would call it. Oh, a Zerka employee is actually alive. I'm not part of the team to rescue you. Okay, just follow me out. I'm guessing there's nothing behind her switching by the map. Um Damage cylinder over here. Luckily I still have lots of mines left to use on it. Okay, we'll level up in a minute. I always leave it for like a few minutes. Okay, so I don't know what we got, I wasn't really looking. Ah, my voice is going funny, I'm sorry. So, we're now on 21 strength, which will make us even more stronger. We're, we'll be able to continue upgrading T3M4, hopefully, once we get him back. Um, what did I get last time? Oh yeah, I got mobility, not stealth run. Just so I move faster in this um, walk through. I also got improved heal. I don't really see a difference in the speed though. Well, actually, I do a bit, I guess. Okay, so... Bayo door should level up, if I remember. Maybe I haven't really killed anything or done anything different than what should have been the, uh, the first recording of this part. Um, remains droid something thing 
Okay, so the force field's done. Um, Fail George level up after this thing dies. Wow. Okay, so Cray leveled up and Bayard didn't level up. Was I expecting that? Okay. We'll just auto level up Cray event. Oh, this game continues to troll me. Maybe troll being the wrong word for that. So, much droid! They are the wrong stuff yet? Nope. Nope. I'm spamming this button. He's still not leveled up, what the heck? We have already leveled him up, have we? And I may have actually also leveled him up or something. I don't think we have. There's a quick way of telling. I'm level 12, he's level 11, and he's level 10. So yeah, he still needs to level up. Um, yeah, basically, make sure you overload it before you continue. Why? I'll explain soon. What about this terminal? Can we do anything? Nope. Um, what about this door? Nothing there. Okay. That door we can't open yet. Um, Alright, I'm gonna left. I did say last time, but I get him Master Rapid Fire. That's what I was hoping to get before I opened the first that door then. To fight those three droids, and we'll give him improved sniper shot because that was recommended. Oh, right, okay. Right, we've got plenty of time. So there's another force field. Wow, I have to keep switching to the old door. This is where my video got ruined last time. Please, don't ruin it again. My family have been warned that I'm doing a video, so they shouldn't. Actually, no. It's after this it got interrupted. Because this is where we repaired a damaged HK50 droid. Except, once it gets past here, it's gonna destroy itself. I don't know why. Maybe we can get. No. If that's basically hinting that there's something top secret behind here. And if you have TSLRCM installed on the PC version, um, you'll be able to visit what's behind that door. Basically the reason why is when this game was made, um, the people making it, Obsidian, I think it was, I don't think it was Bioware. Bioware was the first one. I don't know why Bioware didn't make the second one. Hmm. Whoever made this game, I'm certain it's Obsidian. Um, they basically rushed the game. I think it was LucasArts that rushed them into finishing it and so lots of stuff was missed out and the game was released incomplete which isn't good and so people at Team Gizka I think it is um, try me if I'm wrong I, I have trouble remembering things well not actual trouble not diagnosing trouble but um, I think they're called Team Gizka I that's what I remember anyway the people there um, basically a community of Star Wars Knights of the Republic fans. They created t the restoration content modification and over the years they have added and added and added to it. So it's up to its current version. Can we do anything with that now? Nope. And um, they basically restored a lot of the game that was like put out. I don't really know how they found out what was put out. But that's nice. Because now the game, if you have this installed, is a lot better. Like, to play, story wise, with the added content. Right, so we've already deleted everything. Maybe if you miss something, it don't really matter. Okay, so we can head straight to the shuttle now. Well, actually, no. We have to go through the door that I just. that I said couldn't be open yet. And the reason why I, I t recommended that you destroyed the droids using the terminal, unless you wanted loot, was because they are stronger than the other droids. And they are, uh, they are just shielded, I, if I remember, making them a bit harder to kill. 
and it's just easier if you destroy them it saves you a fight and everything so we just got the data pad with the hangar door thing so once we put that into the computer in the door that we I said we would open um, uh, but I said we would open later which is this door um, yeah we can now use the terminal to unlock those hunger doors unlock I'm sorry um, I don't know I kind of forgot what I was saying yeah so before we can board the shuttle actually after we could board it anyway we could sneakily skip this fight but we're gonna fight a boss okay it's a tank droid quite strong some people might disagree with me in the comments. I'm just wasting my grenades because I'm able to use them. Well, those grenades did much. This would be a perfect time for heat immunity. I think I actually have that. Wow. I honestly wish the bosses in this game were a lot harder. Or I don't think even. I honestly don't think they're bosses. I call them bosses because they're unique, but we just took care of that. So we thought. It, it, that fight was like 5 seconds maybe 10 so don't board the shuttle just yet because the tank droid was basically locked in here the door that was impossible for us to open apparently and in here you will notice there's a lot to open why is that one not got anything in that's strange and you could find some rare items if you're lucky We might get a plasma repeater, I guess that's good. Or I think it was a repeater, I don't know. We got a plasma something. I would like a blaster rifle. We got six parts, that's good. Um I think that's everything. I don't know why that the three lockers there and then that was just empty. Oh well. Um doo -doo -doo -doo. Right. So that's everything looted, so we can now board the shuttle. We have why we have at least ten minutes. So what I was going to end the video there. Well I will do the beginning of the next bit and then I'll end the video. That seems more suitable. More HK fifty droids! Oh dear. I hate these droids. HK forty seven however is from number one, he's also in number two. Is a, it's an actual badass, I love HK-47. But these droids, they're so annoying. You'll find out why later on. You, you'll learn to agree with me on that. And if you don't, then it's fine. Now this can't be any worse than last time. So that's the hole in the shield network, huh? Doesn't look like much to me. This is the cutscene's actually quite cool. Yo, know, we got shot down by a rocket launcher. See, the droid has a rocket launcher there, but when we fight it in a minute with his two buddies, they're using blaster rifles. I mean, if they were using a rocket launcher in the fight, they'd have such a better chance of killing and capturing us, possibly, whatever they intend to do with us. And uh, we just crash landed again. Not surprised, sir. So yeah, we're in the polar region now. Still on heels, by the way. We're not like changed planet or anything. Um, yeah, we have another fight right here. Except we got Atom this time, and our Beardor will force to have Atom with us. They are doors and comes here. I am going to destroy your faces with my axe. It's like three and four mines versus three. We're kind of outnumbered, but we're gonna die. That's a promise I'll make. Destroying my one of you was easy, wiping out three of you might cause me a 
to break a sweat. Alright, so we can level Aston up. You need rapid fire as well. Oh, I only get 20. Unless he's got another level up. Please. <gasps> yes! Scoundrels are kind of funny with feet, so I'm glad we got to give him Master. I think that was fate. Um, we're gonna give him... I don't know if and Blaster, so he's got two. Don't know, it seems right. Bring it on! I hear you. Run away! Fine! Oh dear, we're dying. Come on, we can do this. Why aren't you using the feet I gave you? Demolish them. He's cooler with two guns actually. We're kicking their asses. And they died. Okay. Um, so we got some Troy stuff on that one. We got a cluster from that one. And we got system fortification from that one. So we still have time. However, hmm. Okay, just for you guys, we'll do the next bit. But bear in mind, the next conversation is quite long, and it does quite reveal quite a bit. However, we'll do it anyway. We're still under 20 minutes. So la 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 la. Let's go. What happened to Beodor's clothes? Really? Did someone strip him off or sold him when we were looking? I gave him all his armor and everything, so he better still have it. Like, if he's not, if he's lost all of it, I will complain about it again for an episode probably. Part, and then forget about it because I don't really use Beodor. I don't think. I don't remember. Lay down your weapons, and you shall not be harmed. Hello. Um. Alright, we mean no harm. That's probably the fastest and easiest way to deal with that situation. And Atom's gonna complain again because he's in a cell. Thank god, Bayo Dirt suddenly put his clothes back on. And his head is glitched through. And his gun is glitched through the cell, which is quite unrealistically weird. So Kreia is going to have another conversation with Athen, these two are always having conversations, and then I have a long conversation with someone called Atra, and I'll probably run over until just under 30 minutes. What? What are you doing? Get out of my head! This is so sexual, this Stop. conversation. Bail, ah. George, just wake up or something. How can you sleep yeah. through this noise? The murderer. Even one such as you, you will serve me until I release you. And if I refuse, you will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken, and then you will be broken. So manipulative. The Jedi and righteous. If the interest lies with your choices, you will never be. But 
whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that is long hounded for you by the fear of You will not find blind obedience at the future of your You will learn to impose it again. I don't know how you would think such a mediocre <laughs> witch, but why a vicious old scowl like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of the Jarek can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are a slippery one. Your thought is difficult. It's so to manipulative. I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Your spirit, as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up. No matter what threats you face, whatever refuge you leave behind. Someone has to fly the ship, <laughs> and the force is a hard thing to do. A critical moment approaches, and I'm running out of time, so I'm actually gonna end this conversation with her as fast as possible. Then, in the next video, I will explain a lot to you guys just to refund that information which I'm missing. again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? <laughs> I'm here because a pretentious bitch stole my ship. Your ship? Ah, the Evan. It is not your ship. Unless you are admitting to the destruction of the Lava's mind. Here, I'm just going to piss her off. I want my ship. I want my ship. I want my ship. I want my ship. Give me my ship back. I want my ship. <laughs> if it is your ship, perhaps I should be questioning you as to what happened and why you destroyed the facility and murdered all the miners stationed there. Again, you insist it is your ship. I want my ship. <laughs> Give me it. Give my ship or I will literally force push you off the ledge and kill you somehow. Oh, I can't say it again. Thank you. I don't care where you go, just leave this place. We will run out of I do apologize, but I don't really want to go over 30 minutes in a video. I, I tend to stick to my 20 minute ish benchmark, if that's the right word to use. Are you alright, mistress? The exile brought up the news. Keep me, mistress, but I must ask the exile. I've never seen another effect. Did you care for him once? The Jedi have no such attachment as all he wants to do as he wills. And the galaxy, and the kingdoms of others, burn for all he cares. The you make me sound so evil. I'm not evil. I'm good. He was so right. He was so certain of it. I doubted myself. He chose revenue over the Jedi, over the Council, over my God to sleep. Nobody wants to hear you talk. You How can she even hear her from all the way over the silly woman? How is she still talking? She probably can't even hear her. Okay, so I'm gonna start ending the part now because I might as well. So, 
I say this at the end of every video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos, subscribe and comment with your feedback. And I read comments, even though I don't get any comments, but I will read your comments. I look forward to getting them, but I never get them. So, um, yeah. Comment with feedback, tell me what you want to see in the future. Give me suggestions, give me tips on this game, but I do pretty much know the game at the back of my hand. Not to brag or anything, but yeah. So, I actually think we're over 30 minutes because I started my recording. Okay, alright. So, basically, what I just said then, and have a nice day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next part or video, whatever I decide to do next. So, have a nice day and goodbye.